Which you guys got another video here on how to find your Windows product key on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now, if you're looking on your system and you go to system inside settings and in activation and you see digital license, then some of these methods may not work for you and you will need to use a different method to find your product key. You can see this is a digital license here and this is quite common when people activate uh, their version of Windows by one of those digital license sites where you buy those keys. If you've got a, a pre-built system or something like that, you will probably have what we call an OEM key. You can then open up command prompt and you can then run this command here and this will display your key. It will have, if it was a retail key or if it was another type of key, it will be displayed right here. Most people complain and say they never find their key there and that's because you've probably got a digital license and that will not show up in this location here by using this method. You would have to use an alternative method to find that particular key. So if you're not seeing your 25 digital product key right here, then you need to use an alternative method. Also, this method only shows the OEM key. These keys are stored in your BIOS or your UEFI firmware. So if you want to find another alternative method to getting your key, I'll show you some right here coming up. So let's move on to the next method. Now, a few years ago, you used to be able to go into the registry and find your product key. So let's go into the registry here and I'll show you the location where it used to be situated. So if we open up the registry editor and we go to this location here, H key local machine, and then we're going to come down to where it says software, open this up, and then we're going to come all the way down here to where it says Microsoft. Click on this one, open this up here. And then we're going to come down a bit further to Windows NT. So let's move down to Windows NT here. It's all the way down the bottom here. So there it is right there. Click on this one and open it up. Now you should see current version. So click on current version here. And we'll open this one up here. So we want to go down to software uh, protection uh, platform. And this is inside the current version here. So let me quickly go down here. Now, unfortunately, since 2020, this has been um, removed. You can't find the key inside this location anymore. It does say backup product key default, but this will be a generic key inside here. You won't be able to use this key uh, for anything. You won't be able to activate Windows with this key inside this location. But you can use something like Show Key Plus. You can download this from the Microsoft uh, Store. It's available in there, safe to use, and you can use this to basically display your product key. You can also use the GitHub website to download Show Key Plus as well if you have the Microsoft Store disabled or blocked. So if you want to get it from here, you can do. And once you've got this downloaded, you can basically open this up. As you can see, I've extracted it. And you can click on this and it will open up a little application and it will tell you your product key. Now, because I'm using a digital key, this does say OEM key not present in firmware. This means it's not going to be able to display the correct key for me. But if you do have a retail key or an OEM key that has been pre-installed on that system from, say, HP, Dell or one of those, it will display that key right here and you'll be able to see it. So if you do have a retail key, it will also display right here. But digital keys, it's not going to display the correct digital key which you use to activate that version of Windows, because once you've activated it, that key is now tied to that system and it's basically non-transferable. So if you look on the Microsoft website, it will say, what Windows application method do I use for a digital license or product key? And if you click on this, it will give you a full breakdown of exactly what to expect when you get a digital license and a product license. So if we look here, if you're upgrading to Windows 11 for free uh, from an eligible device running a copy uh, of Windows 10 or Windows 8 or Windows 7, you would get a digital license. Buying Windows License Pro upgrade from Microsoft Store app and successfully activating it for Windows 11, you get a digital license. And it will break it all down and explain to you when you get a digital license and when you would actually get a product key. So if you're more interested about why you've got a digital license and not a product key and why you can't see your product key, this article will actually break it all down and it will tell you exactly the reason why. 
So if you've got one of these digital license that one time activation and they're locked to the PC, then I really wouldn't worry about trying to find your product key because you're basically not going to be able to do anything with it anyway because it's locked to the hardware. If you do have a product key for one of these reasons right here, then obviously you might want to back that key up and you might want to keep a copy of that key because retail keys are transferable to other computers but you can only use it on one computer at any one time. So these methods will help you find a product key, but it won't actually find you the digital key that you'll see in there. This digital key you're looking for is a one-time activation key, and it's probably locked to that computer, and you're not going to be able to do anything with it. Anyway, but that said, I hope this video has been useful to you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat, or I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.